Edie's Ensembles, written and illustrated by Ashley Spears. Edie wore the most marvelous clothes, pants, skirts, jackets, and shoes, sweaters, dresses, hats, and scarves. She had them in every color, and she loved wearing them. Look at all of her clothes, all of her dresses and jackets, and all of her hats and scarves, and all of her shoes. And look, she's picking out something to wear right here. The hall at school was her runway. Each day, Edie showed off her finest outfits. She was known for her great taste and stylish flair. Well, there she goes walking down the hall. She has one of her outfits on. Andrew was Edie's best friend. So there's Edie and there's Andrew. They spent a lot of time playing dress up. Some outfits worked, some didn't, but their favorites always made it to school the next day. See, they're trying on different stuff. She's kind of laughing at him in that outfit. Got dresses hung over here and a jacket over here. And then they pick out something to wear to school the next day. One morning, Edie arrived in one of her best ensembles. But as she strolled into school, she heard no whispers of admiration. In class, no one noticed that swish of her silk scarf. And at recess, no one mentioned her Italian suede shoes. After lunch, someone finally said something about her turquoise cashmere sweater. But it was just to tell her there was mustard on it. Oh, see, he's got mustard on her sweater right there. I like how he's hanging from the handlebars there. Then, the walk home with Andrew was a quiet one. No one noticed her clothes that day. No one paid her any attention. Edie decided that they needed to hold an emergency dress-up session. Tomorrow, her outfit had to be an eye-catching showstopper. So she's throwing clothes on, trying different ones on. Gotta be a showstopper tomorrow. And it was. The next day, everyone noticed Edie. Even mean Kyle said something. Sure, it was just to ask if she owned a mirror. But the point was, he noticed her. It took some time, quite a long time actually, but she managed to find something that would knock everyone's socks off. Edie felt so good about getting all that attention that on the way home, she started to plan the next day's outfit. She was going to have to think up an even more terrific ensemble tomorrow. Look at friends asleep down here. The next day brought Edie more compliments and attention. She was talking to kids she had never even met before. Her clothes were making her popular. Edie felt amazing. And he's saying, oh, nice hat, great colors. Edie wanted to make each ensemble better than the last. So she and Andrew spent all their time planning outfits. Even Andrew thought he might try a new look. But Edie didn't think that was a good idea. So he says, I think I'll take a, uh, have a new look. And she says up here, no. As time went by, all of Edie's clothes started to look dull to her. So she, she decided to change things up. She ripped her old shirts and dresses apart sewing them into exciting new creations. Sometimes she even added in other things just to make it interesting. Making new clothes took all Edie's time and attention. So there she is down here. She's making all new clothes. These kids are saying, what is she wearing? Is it Halloween? At school, the comments started to change. Change too, but Edie didn't mind as long as everyone still talked about her. 
dressed up a little silly that day, huh? Some of her outfits, outfits were hard to wear. Most of the time she couldn't see or hear or move very well. But Edie was still getting lots of attention. Look, over here they're saying she looks so weird. Oh, I'm scared. And this one is, says, she's bonkers. See all of her different outfits that she's got on? All these different clothes that she's wearing. And then one morning when she was running late, oh my, look at this. Somebody was sure to notice, right? Edie waited and waited and waited and no one came. No one noticed she wasn't in class. Not even Andrew. See, she's waiting. Looks like she's coming out because that was her dress she had on. See all the kids are behind the door. See the window? You can see all the other kids. As Edie trudged along, she wondered how she had become alone. So she's just kind of walking alone, looking at the flowers. When she arrived home, she walked right past her closet and looked at herself in the mirror. She couldn't remember the last time she saw her arms, her legs, her face, or any other part of her. Edie had been lost underneath all those clothes. So she's really looking at herself, isn't she? The next day, she went to school in one of her most daring outfits. No one noticed Edie's ensemble. But Calvin shared his carrots at recess. And Deidre complimented her drawing in art class. And Jared and Kyle laughed at her jokes. So someone sharing with her, someone complimented on her drawing, and someone liked her jokes. After school, Edie found Andrew. She told him how much she liked his outfit, though she thought something was missing. And he completely agreed. So she had a leaf to give him. I love that. She found that she didn't have to wear all these different clothes to have friends. And for more books and resources, um, just click on homeschoolforlife.org. Thank you very much.